Hello everyone. Welcome to Restorative Yoga with Jill. Um, go ahead and get your blankets and all your pillows and your mat and get set up. And I'm grabbing us some music and we're going to get started. Happy Thursday. No, yeah, Thursday. Happy Thursday. <laughs> Let's get some music. Let's see what this sounds like. I hope you had a good night and maybe you went to the Taylor Swift trivia and you're all ready for her new album to drop. <laughs> and maybe you learned some more information on Taylor Swift and you had a good time. <laughs> all right, so remember restorative yoga is very gentle if you're new here. This is really gentle yoga. It's gonna help with digestion stress, tapping into the parasympathetic nervous system. So heart opening, just, it's gonna make you feel good. So we're gonna grab our blankets, just any kind of blankets you need. And I've got four pillows here. So if you're new here, I will walk you through the poses. And if you are just stumbling on this, you can, always come back and watch it. It will be on our site for 30 days. Okay, so just to get started, find a comfortable seat. Just whatever makes you feel good. And just close your eyes if you're comfortable. Whatever you want to do with your hands, take a big inhale. And if you want to side out, just let it go. Let's do three of those. Inhale. Just let go of everything that's out of your control. Everything that you are worried about or anxious about. Let's just, let's just try to be here now and do this work for us. One more. Let's just try to not worry about things we can't control. We're going to work on us today. And the more we work on ourselves, the better we are to other people. <laughs> so for me, I'm going to put my blanket under on my mat because I like to sit on the blanket and I like to put my knees on the blanket and it just feels more comfortable if you have hardwood floors or tile or something so our first pose we're going to do today is a resting child's pose so i'll show you what that looks like and if you don't like this pose you may just lie down on your mat and close your eyes and just get comfortable but this is a good pose for lower back it's gonna help stretch that back open it up all the vertebrae just trying to get some movement there. So we're gonna do a wide-legged child's pose. So step one, we're gonna get our pillows. I've got one here, two, these aren't the most fluffy pillows. And then I'm gonna do another one. And then I'm gonna put my blanket here so I can put my head on it. And then this extra blanket, so here's the pose right here. So you're sitting back, and then you're just gonna reach, reach, reach. I want you to extend through the top of the skull. We're gonna inhale. And then just melt over your pillows and turn your head to whatever side that you feel comfortable. So your hands can go here, your hands can go here, whatever. So whatever makes you feel comfortable, okay? But watch what we can do with this last pillow. We put it under on top of our calves, and then that feels really good. I don't know why these, I'm gonna do this. Okay, we're gonna stay here for one minute, and then we're gonna just switch our gaze to the other side. So whatever side you're gonna start with. Yes, and just find a place 
that you can be to feel comfortable. Close your eyes if you feel comfortable. That'll help you. And just breathe. We're just doing a normal breath here. Nothing fancy. And you can do deep breaths if you feel comfortable. Try to relax your jaw here. Try not to clench it. Just relax your shoulders. You can kind of rock and sway here, move around and relax your forehead. All right, it's time for us to just take our gaze to the other side. So just gently push up and then take your gaze to the other side. And we'll stay there for one minute. We are going to go into the next pose. So push yourself up, take all these things away. Nice. And hopefully that felt good on your lower back. As always, if a pose doesn't work for you, just say in the comments or message us and we I'll make sure that I get you another pose to do besides that one. All right. So the next pose we're going to do is a heart opener. Again, if you're sore in your chest, and you don't want to do this pose, I'm going to give you another option. So for me, I like to roll up my blanket for my, put it under my neck, just because I have an old neck injury, as we all have some sort of injury, right? <laughs> all right, put it there. And the first pose, if you're feeling really tight in your chest and sore and, and this pose is not going to work for you, I'm going to show you exactly what I want you to do. I just want you to lie down on your mat and put a pillow or two under your knees. And this will be what you do. You can open your legs if you feel comfortable or just lie down. That's your pose. But for my other friends, we are going to put a pillow under our chest so and you can you can work with one pillow or you can try two we're gonna do that i think i'm gonna do two for myself so that's what we're gonna do and i'm just i'm also gonna keep this one under my knees because that's gonna feel good too so i'm just gonna push your booty up to that and then we're going to lie down and the pillows are just going to be on your back, but this is going to open up your chest. So if this is too much for you, just take a pillow away. So just start with one pillow and see what happens. We'll turn on our music and we will get going. 
and we're just gonna we're gonna stay here for a minute and a half so go ahead and get comfortable hopefully you can hear that i always like to have some nice relaxing music playing and what i'm going to do here as well is i'm just going to open up my hips here because we all need that hip opener action for our lower back just because i'm comfortable laying like that but if you're not you can just have your legs straight and just let them fall out naturally so here we go for your hands you can have the heart open hands where your palms are up or just put them on your belly if you're feeling sore or you just choose not to do that pose. So we're just breathing normal breath or deep breath. We're gonna relax our face, our forehead, and clench your jaw. Try to relax your entire body. Right, we're gonna come out of this pose. We're just gonna bend the knees here, sort of scoot that hip over and then roll over to the right, trying not to strain your neck like I just did. <laughs> All right, now we are gonna do we are gonna do a side twisting pose. And this is a fairly simple, accessible pose for everyone. So we are just gonna, gonna take that walk away. And I'm gonna move this blanket down. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to get set up here. So we're gonna take a pillow or blanket, whatever you have in between your legs, okay? So your options are to just kind of stack your legs or even have them separated, bringing this leg back, okay? And then we're gonna take the pillows. We're gonna turn them long ways. We're gonna scoot them up to our side. And then what I want you to do is we're gonna inhale and reach. And we're gonna turn that shoulder back. And we're gonna try to lie down like so. We're gonna walk down. So the goal here is just trying to twist this upper body. It does not have to be square against the pillow like so. So just turning as far as you feel comfortable and then lying down. Okay, so I'm gonna put that blanket here. And you can also just stack it up higher, get another pillow. So whatever you wanna do, I'm gonna put my blanket there and then We'll do this side and then we'll do the other side. So again, walk you through it. If you didn't catch that, your, your legs are just like so. They can also be like this. You're gonna turn, you're gonna try to turn that hip and the shoulder. 
and then you're going to reach. You're going to go down. And then when you're down there, then you're going to turn. Beautiful. And then I like to put my hands into the toy, but you can do whatever you want. But just trying to relax. Not holding any tension in your shoulders or your arms. Not trying to hold yourself up. You're just going to fall into the toy. Closing your eyes if you feel comfortable. And And so my lower back is helping me just have these at a 90 degree angle on my, my legs to have this pillow here. But if you feel more comfortable, like spread out, that's up to you. So just listen to your body. If it hurts your back to do that, just bring your, bring your knees into a 90 degree like position. And And I'm going to do the other side. So I'm just going to gently, gently turn my neck. There we go. Just going to push up. Not straying. Push up. Beautiful. So, for you, if you just want to flip over and do the other side, you can do that. But for me, and so you can see me, I'm just going to switch everything to the other side. So, if you already know how to set up, do that. But we're just taking everything over this side or you could just turn around and get yourself set up and go ahead and get in position. All right, I'll play our music. Then we'll walk you through our cues again. All right, so we got our, our pillows. I'm gonna bring them in just a little. Touch my hip. Got my hands here. Now I'm gonna turn that other hip and other shoulder back I'm just trying to square our shoulders to the pillow again you don't have to be completely square we're just turning as far as you feel comfortable and then we're going to go down but i want you trying to reach through your skull that just means we're creating space in the spine before we lie down we're not going to crunch that spine up and then try to lie down that's not going to be helpful so if we're going to i want you to take a big inhale reach and then exhale and then go down and then that's when you turn your head and find your spot and again i'm going to bring my knees stacking on top of each other in a 90 degree type angle and we're gonna relax so kind of shake your shoulders out, wiggle them out. Don't hold any tension in there. Breathe. If you feel like you're holding tension, you might need another pillow to get higher. And breathe.
We're going to come out of this one, so we're going to push up. We're not going to strain, we're going to push. Yes. Beautiful. All right, next pose. Next pose we're going to do is sort of like a bridge pose. So kind of like a little back bend. So what I want you to do is get your pillows. And all we're going to do is either put them under your sacrum, so under your bottom right here. And if that feels uncomfortable, then you're just going to move them to your knees. So I'll show you what that looks like. For me, I'm going to try to do two. And then I'm going to kind of sit on top of them. Go back down with my hello. So yeah, see, this is our bridge pose. So we're kind of doing a little back bend. In yoga, bridge looks like this, where you push up and you squeeze. But we see, we're not holding any tension. We're not squeezing. So for me, this is enough. But if you want to get higher, you can put one more pillow under there. And again, if you don't like this pose, you can just move these pillows to your knees and just lie down like so. I'll start our music. And hey, and none of this is graceful, so don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, this is beautiful. One minute, five seconds. Let's do it. <sighs> Breathe. Hands can be wherever they want. You can open up your chest if you're not sore here and, and have your palms facing the ceiling. I'll put my toes under that blanket. I mean that pillow. And just breathe here. Relax your jaw, close your eyes, try to relax your face. All right, my loves, we're going to do one more pose, and that is Shavasana. Yay, our last one. So let's roll over here. Push myself up. And remember, Shavasana is just where we lie down on the mat and we relax. 
so there's really no cues here. Um, if it hurts your lower back to lie down on the floor or just in general, you can put these pillows under your knees. Okay, that's going to help take the tension off. And I'll show you what that looks like. Just like this. So go down. Keep yourself ready. So just like this. You can even bend your knees. And also, I'll show you how you can just knock your knees. So just pretend my feet are on the mat and just knock your knees inward, and that'll that'll help as well. We're gonna do shavasana, and then we were gonna be done. going to walk you through the cues of relaxing. So let's start at our toes. Relax your toes. Whichever way your, your feet are, just relax however you have them. Legs are heavy. Arms can be on your belly or out. Rotated palms up. Fingertips are relaxed. Arms are heavy. Shoulders relaxed. And I want you to bring awareness to your face. So relax your face. Unclench your jaw. Separate your teeth. Relax your eyelids. And relax your forehead. So when you close your eyes, just take that intention to the forehead there. And just breathe. Give yourself permission to be here right now. Nowhere else. Right now. All right, we're going to gently wiggle our fingers, wiggle our toes. I'm just going to gently wake the body back up. No rush. And gently rock your head. 
If you're lying down, you can just start to bend your knees. And when you're ready, we're gonna roll over to the right side. And give ourselves a hug. And thank yourself for showing up for ourselves today. So nice. When you're ready, we're gonna push up. Use that strength from that arm and push yourself up. Yay, that was such a nice practice. We're gonna end together with a big breath. So just sit however you feel comfortable. And when you're ready, we're gonna take a big breath together. Inhale, arms up. Palms together, exhale down. Namaste. Yay, happy Thursday, and I'll see you next month. And remember, these videos are always posted. I think they're in the library, and they'll always be posted on the Facebook page for 30 days. All right, thank you, and have a wonderful day.